It's a beautiful day in my fume hood. Welcome, everybody. We are going to be reacting today some glycerin and, of course, some potassium <laughs> permanganate. Yeah. I have weighed out this pie tin thing, which we're going to react everything in in the fume hood. It's 11.63 grams. Um, we're going to take this potassium permanganate and note a couple of things. Number one, oxidative hazard. So, you know, whatever that means. I think that means you go punk rock hairstyle. This one, poison, third grade. Small things of this will probably rock your world. And of course, that is the upside down fish, uh, which means either that's an anti-gravitational field or if I dump this down the drain, I get fired. But we are going to take some potassium permanganate. How about... How about three... 3.65 grams. It sounds about all. You know what? Let's just do a little bit more. Let's see if I can make it to four. Screwed it up. That's about it. So, 4.25 4 grams of potassium permanganate. So, make whatever qualitative observations you need. It's at room temperature, by the way. Um, it's very powdery, very crystal form, lab grade. It uh, looks like a gray, a dark grayish color. I mean, you can see that, but it's, um, it's ready to react. So now it's time to get the glycerin in here. I've zeroed off the little cup. Glycerin is not considered hazardous. Isn't that fun? But it is considered gooey. Ooh. That ought to do. <clears throat> Looks like we have 7.56 grams. As you can see, when we zoom on up, zooming on up, zooming on up, it is a very liquidy type of a substance. Um, glycerin is pretty viscous stuff. No smell, also room temperature. Right. Reaction completed. Look at this stuff. It's black. It's charred. It's burned. It's in my hands. 
funky. I measured it before I just got done played with it. 16.48 grams total, that's including the pie tin. Now, before we had 11.80 grams of stuff once you combine the potassium permanganate and the glycerin. After, um, and taking away the mass of the pie tin, I have a grand total of 4.85 grams of stuff. Now, that is a, that is a difference of 6.95 grams lost. Now, where did that go? What the heck happened? You see, if you watch closely, you might need to go back and check it out. But there's some, there's some human error there, and I want you to notice that. Uh, not to say that I didn't try my best, because I did. But there was some human error there that can account for that, um, for that discrepancy in the mass. There was a change. Now remember, according to the law of conservation of mass, should be the same, but we have a huge difference. So what I want you to do is I want you to let me know where did that mass go. Done and done. Right, I forgot. Uh, this was a chemical change. I'd like for you to tell me why that was. What evidence did you see that makes this a chemical change? Ooh.